Sea Prayer by Khalid Hosseini. This book is dedicated to the thousands of refugees who have perished at sea, fleeing war and persecution. My dear Marwin, in the long summers of childhood, when I was a boy the age you are now, your uncles and I spread our mattress on the roof of your grandmother's farmhouse outside of Holmes. We woke in the mornings to the stir stirring of olive trees in the breeze, to the bleating of your grandmother's goat, the clanking of her cooking pots, the air cool and the sun a pale rim of persimmon to the east. We took you there when you were a toddler. I have a sharply etched memory of your mother from that trip, showing you a herd of cows grazing in the field, blown through with wild flowers. I wish you hadn't been so young. You, would have, you wouldn't have forgotten the farmhouse, the soot of its stone walls, the creek where your uncles and I built a thousand boyhood dams. I wish you remembered homes as I do, Marwin. In its bustling old city, a mosque for us Muslims, a church for our Christian neighbors, and a grand souk for us all to haggle over gold pendants and fresh produce and bridal dresses. I wish you remembered the crowded lanes smelling of fried kebab and the evening walks we took with your mother around Clock Tower Square. But that life, that time, seems like a dream now, even to me, like some long dissolved rumor. First came the protests, then the siege. The sky spitting bombs, starvation, burials. These are the things you know. You know a bomb crater can be made into a swimming pool. You have learned dark blood is better news than bright. You have learned that mothers and sisters and classmates can be found in narrow gaps between concrete bricks and exposed beams like patches of sunlit skin shining in the dark. Your mother is here tonight, Marwin, with us on this cold and moonlit beach among the crying babies and the women worrying in tongues we don't speak. Afghans and Somalis and Iraqis and Eritians and Sumerians, all of us impatient for sunrise, all of us in dread of it, all of us in search of home. I have heard it said we are the uninvited, we are the unwelcome, we should take our misfortune elsewhere. But I hear your mother's voice over the tide, and she whispers in my ear, Oh, what if they saw, my darling, even half of what you have? If only they saw, they would surely, they would say kinder things, surely. I look at your profile in the glow of this three-quarter moon. My boy, your eyelashes like calligraphy. Closed in guileless sleep, I said to you, hold my hand, nothing bad will happen. All I can do is pray. Pray God steers the vessel true when the shores slip out of eyeshot and we are a fly speck 
in the heaving waters, pitching and tilting, easily swallowed. Because you, you are precious cargo, Marwyn, the most precious there ever was. I pray the sea knows this. Inshallah. How I pray the sea knows this. Sea prayer was inspired by the story of Alan Kurdi, the three-year-old Syrian refugee who drowned in the Mediterranean Sea trying to reach safety in Europe in 2015. In the year of, sorry, in the year after Alan's death, 4,176 others died or went missing, attempting that same journey.